the past few years, the wine industry has taken a big hit, but that doesn't mean that people have stopped drinking wine. Many just haven't spent as much. As Mike Mickle explains, wine drinkers learned a valuable lesson during the recession. Whether you prefer a crisp white or a full-bodied red, during the recession, many wine drinkers had to retool their budgets. Maybe I've spent a little bit less. Jim Carmody is a wine expert who watched consumers change their behavior. But they didn't want to give it up, so they traded down. And in that experience, they found wines that were very interesting and taste very good for uh, much less money. The wine industry says sales are back, and apparently people liked what they found at lower prices. A survey by Nielsen found the wines seeing the biggest rebound are those in the $9 to $12 range. Uh, the difference between a $15 bottle of wine and a $45 bottle of wine, very difficult to detect even by an educated palate. Carmody says most wine and liquor stores have a knowledgeable sales staff who would be happy to help you find a great wine at a great price. And bargain shoppers are also finding great wines in an unlikely place. Well, Costco and BJ's that are some of the largest movers in the volume category of wines. Carmody says many fall into expensive wine traps, not fully understanding why some wines cost more. When you're paying a price for an expensive bottle of wine, you're paying for what it's going to deliver in the future, not what it's delivering today. So the next time you are out shopping, remember the wine drinker's recession lesson. You can always find great wines at lower prices. For wine drinkers, that's something to celebrate. I'm Mike Mickle reporting.